This Honda Ruckus got 100 miles per gallon in our fuel economy test. With fuel economy like that, it's no surprise scooter sales went through the roof. But fuel economy for a scooter is not the same as fuel economy for a car. A 50cc scooter, it only goes about 30 miles per hour. Obviously, your car goes a lot faster. And there's more. There's no roof on a scooter, no air conditioning, no heater, no airbags, no anti-lock brakes, no stability control. It's just you two wheels, and the outside. If despite those limitations you're still interested in a scooter, you'll find there's a wide variety to choose from. Take the 50cc models we tested. This Honda Ruckus, it's a bare bones model. Or you can spend under $1,000 and buy a generic Chinese built scooter from the internet. Problem is, build quality's iffy, there's not a dealer network, who knows about parts availability. Or you can go full tilt and spend over $3,000 and get this Vespa big mirrors, plenty of storage, and a cockpit that has enough room for larger riders. On the other hand, this Honda, it's better sized for smaller riders. They can easily put their feet flat on the ground, but there's next to no enclosed storage. Something all 50cc scooters share is they're on the slow side. Still, there are differences. The Vespa, it took almost twice as long to get to 30 miles per hour than the others. One reason why 50cc scooters are so popular in some states you don't need to register them. You don't even need a license. But as a bare minimum, we recommend you take a safety course. The big downside, because of their low top speed, you're really limited to where you can safely and comfortably ride these scooters. Want to go faster? You can get a scooter with a bigger engine. We looked at three with engine sizes from 125 to 150 cc's. Now these scooters, they'll go 55 miles an hour. The problem is you have little 10-inch wheels. They don't give you a whole lot of stability at those speeds. Combine the small wheels with limited suspension travel and hitting a road hazard, it could be a problem. Some scooters like this Kimco have larger wheels. They do improve higher speed stability. But something to consider. When you step up to a scooter with a bigger engine, you probably need a motorcycle license. You're also looking at spending about $3,000 to $5,000, and you've made a sacrifice in fuel economy. For the same price and the same fuel economy, you can get a small 250cc motorcycle. You can drive a motorcycle anywhere, even on the highway. The larger wheels and tires, more suspension travel, makes a motorcycle more secure at speed. But you need to learn how to manually shift a motorcycle. A scooter, all you do is twist the throttle. Scooters are also more maneuverable at parking speeds. Finally, some find it less intimidating to be perched on a scooter seat rather than straddling the gas tank of a motorcycle. So motorcycles and scooters can be a lot of fun, and you can get great fuel economy with them. So despite their limitations, they might fit your needs, but there's one extremely important thing to keep in mind. Compared to even the smallest car on the road, you're much more vulnerable here. It is difficult for other traffic to see you, and road hazards that are no problem when you're driving four wheels can become a problem when you're riding only two, and it all gets worse in the rain. So no matter what you do, we recommend you take a safety course, wear proper protective clothing, preferably in bright colors, and wear a full face helmet whenever you ride.